Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, we are going to discuss something very important that a lot of people miss out on. And I think this is something so basic that I, I actually didn't really think about this until I go like, hey, there's a lot more people doing it. And I want to explain why it's not good. Okay? So... Let us actually see what it is first. And then I'll, I'll explain the physics behind it. All right. So if you look at this, you know, uh, it, it might look as if it's tied normal. But as you can see, the line is actually at the back here. Okay. And it's an eyed hook. Okay, and on this one, it's a spade head, and the line is at the back as well. Okay, now I've chosen these two hooks because they're actually the same hook shape, except that one has a spade head and one has a an eye, and this is very important because. When you're, you're, you're tying on spade heads, it's kind of different. And then when you're tying on eyed hooks, it's kind of different. But what it is, is the pulling point or the origin of the pull for the hooks. Okay. So the origin of pull is basically where the, the force originates on the hook as you set or as you pull the hooks for a purchase on the flesh of the fish in the mouth okay and it matters a lot because where the origin of the pull is would also be where the point is headed to okay and when you pull on this see what happens is that it kind of bends the hook i think i think the best way to illustrate it is to just put the hook like so okay put pressure on the point and then see what happens and as you can see there this the point doesn't really dig in it kind of uh it kind of swivels See? And there's a chance that this will actually pull out. Now, the right way of doing it is for the origin of the pull to be on the inside of a spade head hook, like so. Okay? And see exactly how the point, this point, now, see, now it doesn't look like it's going to slide because the point, the origin of the pull is exactly where the point is pointed towards. Boom. So that's that. And it's the same as this. Okay. The hook point doesn't really dig in. Okay, the hook point doesn't really dig in. It just, see, it just, it slides. Okay, and you can put your finger there and you can see that it doesn't really hurt that much because you're pulling away. Okay, now we reverse like so. So with the eye, with the eyed hook, what you want is to go under, under the shank opposite of the point of the hook and you go underneath the eye and out, okay? With spade heads, you want the line to be on the same side and the tie on the same side as the hook points and just with that one detail 
you can see that the origin of the pull is making it so that it doesn't slide okay and uh, again i'm just okay you can see that and even if you put your finger there and start pulling you will feel the hook point dig in as opposed to the other one where it is on the bottom here what happens is that it feels as if the point isn't digging isn't digging but it's kind of just nicking okay and that's a very very important but although it's small but it's a very important detail and you know when you're tying these when you make a mistake especially when you have just tied on one uh hook all you have to do is just flip it around put the line through the eye or if it's a spade head all you have to do is just really turn it before you tighten everything um, if you bound it obviously you're going to have to um, take everything off and then start from scratch but very very important detail and I think this is something that a lot of people kind of uh, miss out on and I'm hoping that this video would help a lot of people out because this is something that I see still on a very regular basis even if we have a lot even you know what even commercial ones sometimes even commercial ones have this um, issue and it's you know sometimes when I, I watch it especially someone who's been doing this for a really long time I just go like man it's not as if there are no resources online or some sometimes you know people just think that they just want to be unique or <laughs> it's a good idea or what it, it's not you know uh, end of the day we've been doing this for a long time exactly the the way it is because there's a reason for it all right now another thing is that when you buy hooks um buy hooks that have the points pointed towards the eye or the spade and that's a very important detail because again remember that this is the origin of pull and you are jigging okay you're jigging and it depend it, it it's very dependent on where your hooks are facing relative to what the position of the jig is when the fish bites okay with what that means is that it could be that if your points are not directly pointed to the eye every time you move the jig you could be pointing the tip of your hook away from the fish so when it grabs it okay it could pull it and not really have a purchase but each and every single time you do a motion and your the hooks that you've selected are hooks that have the points pointed towards the origin of pull you would always be assured that that point is always going to be in the same direction as the orientation of the jig uh, relative to its position each time you move it that way you will miss fewer strikes okay so that's a very important detail again it not all hooks are created the same um, some really good hooks of course already have this incorporated either with a bend or the shape okay um, it doesn't have to be like fancy looking hooks it's just hooks that have their points pointed towards as opposed to pointing away because when it's pointing away then every time you pull it's the same thing say it has the same effect as having this uh, on the wrong side it's basically just pulling it or in this case for the point it's pointing it to where uh it's away from the target and uh this sort of thing actually has a lot of research done to it not from believe it or not not from jigging but from trolling okay we share uh, a few concepts that are the same but there's uh peter pakula has actually extensively done research on this about the the hook point and how it should be pointed to the eye of the hook because of how it travels and how the fish bites it and how it interacts 
So very applicable to jigging because again, it's physics and it has a lot to do with the line uh, of pull. Okay. Anyway, so if you got questions on this, uh, I hope it's clear. Okay. I hope it's clear. And if you have questions, just drop it in the comments. I always answer comments and uh, that's it for now. Alrighty. Uh, I want to keep this as short as possible. And then we can go back to the rigging videos. All right. So that's it. If you haven't yet, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and share if you care. That's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Class is missed.